liberation and revolution for Biafra freedom has begun. God began to speak to me about Biafra. I said, I see an animal. Which animal did I tell you last time? Eh? I said, what? A what? A what? A small puppy. And I say, I see a small puppy going forward. All of a sudden, I saw so many strange wild animals, lion, bear, great animals around the puppy. Then I saw the puppy look back and saw that the animals around him are so many. Suddenly the puppy, what I saw last month is different from what I'm seeing now. The puppy is developing some futures of wild animals. It <coughs> This prophetic word is not to the negative. It's very important. Take the Biafra agitation serious. Every authority, there come a time when a revolution is about to take place. The power of God, bombs and bullets cannot hold an ideology. <laughs> The liberation and revolution for Biafra freedom has begun. God began to speak to me about Biafra. I said, I see an animal. Which animal did I tell you last time? Eh? I said, what? A what? A what? A small puppy. And I say, I see a small puppy going forward. All of a sudden, I saw so many strange wild animals, lion, bear, great animals around the puppy. Then I saw the puppy look back and saw that the animals around him are so many. Suddenly the puppy, what I saw last month is different from what I'm seeing now. The puppy is developing some futures of wild animals. And listen to Simon and Eba. He's doing a very fantastic job. Very great job that Simon and Eba is doing. Very, very, absolutely fantastic job that he's doing. You must listen to him and share his videos accordingly. Very, very important. He is bringing a new dimension to this very awareness that we are making. And you must listen to him. Very, very important. Oh, Dogu Adigo Kogadi. Oh, no, go on, go on, go on. Biafra people all over the world, I welcome you this evening. I'm here to give you a shout out. Oh, no, go on, go on, go on. Uh, my greetings to Biafra people. My greetings to all of you. My greetings to the wonderful people of Biafra. Greetings to the indomitable, undefeatable. Biafra government in exile. Greetings to those that believe in the freedom of Biafra. Greetings to those that says enough is enough. And then we day. Obanyoko. Odogu adigo kogade. Odogu adigo kogade. I welcome every one of you this evening. Here I remember America wonder for Biafra people. Prime Minister Batagun Udozo. Nanki Pazwa. Kai Woli I have come this evening after a very hectic day to give a shout out to Biafra people. For the way we are defeating the enemy of our freedom is something that worth celebrating. We will continue to celebrate. We will continue to celebrate the defeat of the enemy of Biafra because they will never rise again. Oh, don't go, 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 go,
I have come this evening, like I said, to give shout out to the Biafra people, those who knows that the time for liberation and freedom has come. I have one message for those who say they are going to die fighting Simon Ekpa. You are going to die. All right, wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as it ought. In case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, you kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button. Uh, so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first one to collect them. Finally, Christians in Plateau State has decided to carry weapons so and fight for the militia. Uh, second message to soldiers. <laughs> they don't send message to soldiers for Plateau State. Uh, the people will be saying they for that Plateau State. They don't tire uh, for the team will be say uh, they are the government and the Fulani the military. They don't serve the patrol. Uh, they say the government themselves no one carry them out, put for uh, waiting the flood head as they do for that side. Uh, they say now uh, make themselves use hand, carry their own uh, weapons uh, to defend themselves. And when they ask, waiting they happen, uh, they say that Christians will be still there for the states. Now they talk that one. I say, uh, don't forget, say our Lord and Master Savior will be Jesus. Say, if they slap you for this year and uh, make you turn the other one, may they summon you well. well. <laughs> The Christians, when they decide, they say, uh, hey, don't pass waiting, they're going to open for their ear. I'll say this time, they're going to follow the slap person. Anyhow, uh, we will go for the full detail of the information as it go. Christians in Plateau State have been pushed to the wall and have expressed determination to fight terrorists disrupting their peace following the recent killings in Mango, local government area of the state. The chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria in Mango local government, Reverend Timothy Daluk in Mango made this revelation on Wednesday while accusing the Nigerian military operatives of colluding with the Fulani military who attacked the community. Reverend Timothy asked the Nigerian soldiers to vacate the community immediately as he is about to call for a meeting with Christian heads to discuss how they will defend themselves. The Khan chairman alleged that the military is is displacing Christians and forcing curfews solely within Christian areas and allowing the burning of their homes by militias. I am here to report the situation happening in Mangu local government for the whole world to understand what is happening in Mangu at this particular point in time. The military are the ones sending our people away from the for the militias to burn their houses, he said with agitation. According to the Khan chairman, the military's actions have resulted in the forced evacuation of Christians from the new market, leaving Muslims free to burn homes. He claimed that the military has killed three young men, rejecting the assertion that one incident involved a fake soldier. At this particular point in time, they have sent every Christian away from the new market and thereby leaving the Muslims to go burn their homes. They have set the curfew. The curfew is only restricted to, the, to only people within the Christian domain. Within the Muslim domain, they are free to move and do whatever they want to do. And not only that, the military has killed three of our young men, which I know one. He was before my own church member, he said. The military has killed three of our young men, which I know one is of my church member. They killed one yesterday, and I reported to the security. He said that it was a fake soldier. At first, he said I was lying until I proved to him that it was not a lie. Then finally, he said it was a fake soldier. I said no, it was not a fake soldier. When I don't see how it happened uh, for that area, they said that we, the people of from Mangu local government area, we don't want the military in the Mango local government area. They should pack their loads and go. We don't want them because it's planned. They have been bought. I am calling on the world to understand that this thing should stop and people should come to our rescue to save us. If not, that is an evil plan for them to destroy Mango local government because the governor is from here and we are not going to allow it, he added. The military should keep on killing us. We accept they should kill us, but we are not going to stop. 
I will organize the whole Christian and Mangu local government area. We are going to fight. We are not going to stop. And that is what I said. He said, enough is enough. We, we have cried, but the government is not listening. If they switch off their phones, then we are also... Um, this one, they come from people where they say that they cry out for this particular part of the state. Uh, where we say that they call Plateau State. Of course, you know, these people where we say that they live for this side of the world, Plateau State, don't face a lot of trouble. Uh, where we say it don't come their way due to the Nyamanyama. Where we say it don't they follow for Nigeria for a long time now. The issue of insecurity now don't become the order of the day. Uh, for the matters where the where we say it they happen for this overdo. And many people they wonder when this kind of thing goes stop, when is it going to end? Is this the beginning of a new era or is it the end that the prophets have been prophesied uh, that is going to come upon the face of man that one day uh, a lot of people will start to die and the rest of them. It don't show you for the thing where we say it happened for Ibadan the other time. Kepu Kepu done the release say now nah, some people uh, top top politicians where we say they get power for the Obodo where they do illegal mining say now nah, then they do that thing and I see they be they don't they threatening Arake for talking about that make I carry you go for the full detail of the information you can see how selfish uh, Nigerians Africans the blacks can be just to got just to get what they want and when they are after this pursuit uh, they don't care whether their brother their mama or their family members see they for the road make I show you the full detail of the information I received threats over comments on powerful Nigerians behind banditry and illegal mining. Alake, Minister of Solid Minerals, Dele Alake has confirmed that following his comment on how powerful Nigerians are funding banditry associated with illegal mining in the country, he has been receiving life-threatening messages. Alake disclosed this on Monday during an, an on-the-spot assessment of the effect of explosion that rocked the ancient city of Ibadan, killing five people, while properties worth billions of naira were destroyed. According to the minister, the threat trailed has ha his comment at the National Assembly on the involvement of powerful and highly placed Nigerians in illegal mining. He said, I said it during my ministry budget defense at the National Assembly that powerful Nigerians are behind the banditry associated the illegal mining in the country. I said it openly. However, since I made disclosure, I have been receiving threats, but we are undoubted because it has not been said. In any case, I was not saying anything new. Most people knew it. Most people have been saying it. I only gave it an official stamp based on the intelligence report. And uh, when I don't see as it happen, uh, based on that thing where we say it, hap it happened for Ibadan, and based on the insecurity where we say uh, recently uh, people they face everywhere uh, they, they connect and carry and go they say that because of uh, powerful people where we say they, they do illegal mining for Obodo Niger so you can see it said the matter be uh, where they want mine things they fit carry insecurity put there uh, make the people where we say they for that city made a pack out uh, made a fit do waiting they want do and I they say now which kind of people go they commit this kind of atrocity and this kind Nyama nyama, where we say it they happen for this over though they say that the powerful politicians, the powerful people where we say they do for church. I see they be DSS don't arrest the head of Mieti Alao. <laughs> I say, what did the man do? What did the man do? Uh, they can say the man gone uh, they set up their own pers uh, personal security outfit. And uh, I everybody for the nation don't they condemn that moves. I see they be the DSS don't carry them, they go. Make we go to the full detail of the information as it be. The Department of the State Service, DSS, has arrested the president of Mieti Ala Kutal Ho uh, Belo Bojedo over the recent creation of a vigilante group in Nasarawa State. Politics Nigeria learned that Bodejo was arrested on Tuesday at the Mieti Ala's head office in Nasarawa State. A joint team of DSS operatives and some soldiers of the Nigerian army were said to have stormed Mieti Allah's head office at about 3.40 p.m. on Tuesday. A DSS source who confirmed the arrest noted that Bodejo was arrested over fears that the creation of the nomad villainty could cause violence across the country. The source noted that the group was not registered with the DSS, the police, or any other security agency. 
Our DSS operatives and soldiers of the Nigerian Army stormed the Meti Allah's head office in Nasarawa this afternoon, and we have arrested their national president, Bello Bodejo, for creating a vigilante group that is not recognized by the government. The source told Punch. <laughs> When I don't see full animal, we be say original, original, and I ain't get power to the carry weapon since. Uh, but I see they be now. Uh, they want to create a security outfit. I say, hmm. Uh, if this one happen, I be say, oh, lo, lo. <laughs> uh, people go wala me and wala ta. Meanwhile, now here I go to wind out the country. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to. On your notification button so that whenever our news drop you'll be the first one thank you for listening god bless you